Lexi was experiencing a lot of different things. She was having problems breathing. She was um, sleeping 20 hours a day. She wasn't holding her head properly. And um, we were up north and we ended up in the ER and she was basically unconscious, not responding to anything. And they transported us down to U of M Mott's and they did a CAT scan and found out that she had an ependymoma, a brain tumor on the brain stem. They said a couple more hours she wouldn't have even been here. Within the first year she had two brain surgeries. The first surgery was 18 hours long and um, she had some issues afterwards. You know, they were not able to remove all of the tumor. She ended up starting chemotherapy within about two weeks. We prayed a whole lot because it wasn't a good scenario. Her life expectancy, they said, was three years old. I spent more time that first year in the hospital with her than we did at home. After that brain surgery, they said, listen, Dr. Morasco said, you guys have got to go get some rest. You cannot stay here. And I'm like, I am not going home and not being here. And she said, we'll call the social worker, we'll have her come up, and she'll talk to you about the Ronald McDonald House. It's across the street. You can get over here in three minutes tops. You can run down the sidewalk and you can be there. Rick come up to the hospital and we were with Lexi. And my mom texted and said, me and Brenner are at the, you know, the Ronald McDonald House now. Anytime you guys want to come over, I'll swap with you and you can see Brent. So we walk in and of course, Brent was ecstatic. He's running to us and he's, ah, you know, his life, mom and dad. So my mom goes over to the hospital and me and Rick were sitting in the playroom and they had, you know, all kinds of toys and we were playing with them and we were able to put him to bed and slept with him until he was asleep. And he, he was content because mom and dad's here. I was able to read him a book. It was normal. And he went to sleep and my mom come back and I threw a load of laundry in and I said, we're gonna go back over and sit with Lexi. And we sat with Lexi until about 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. We come back and we were there when Brent woke up. We had breakfast with him. I mean, that was the opportunities it gave us. Because when you don't have that, that's what keeps you going. That, that little bit of, you know, this is what we're trying to get Lexi to be able to experience. This is what we want to give her. And so being able to do that with him gave us that fulfillment that we didn't have with her at the time. Most people who are going through tragic things like this, they can't spend $70, $80 on a med in for weeks, you know, maybe for a night, but not weeks. And, you know, having kids to have siblings, you know, to be able to be welcomed and to play and to have a TV and to have toys and stuff when you're taking them out of their element, it, it's, you know, it, it's a lifesaver.